Hello everyone. <clears throat> so today I'm going to do a reading about Brexit in England. What happened? What will happen? What needs to be done? And things like this. So this is the spread. The main card here, the main issue. The focus is Eight of Pentacles. In this deck is called Nothing Out of the Ordinary. Um, to me, this card is more like being focused on details or on certain things and not be aware of the bigger picture. So that's one way to look at it. But it's also about um, now it's a time of learning new skills it's a time of beginning something that one has not previously done so it indicates that um, a change a new beginning is being experienced in terms of financial circumstances um, yeah and it, it's like it, it, it um it also symbolizes the concentrated concentrated determination to master these new skills um, of someone who has consciously chosen a new path a different path. So um, this is about taking initiative and uh being persever and through perseverance you'll need to achieve achieve things through your own perseverance in as opposed to something like luck or gener generosity of others something that comes from outside so yeah this makes sense because it's like they cut off from whatever support or they had from the outside now they have to kind of do things themselves they have to focus and put a lot of work and effort themselves um and it shows that they're unhappy with their current state and they need to make important changes um so overall, this is like a very hard-working and conscientious energy that is being present. <clears throat> so yeah, it's about... Um, beginning of a new path. The card of... England, the sort of like the collective inner energy the is five of swords this the energy of people from England of England in general it's like their collective energy this five of swords this comparison it's called the comparison and this deck to me is like unnecessary conflict, conflict, tension, loss, defeat, win, at, win at all costs. So this um, five of swords see you engaging in conflict and finding yourself disagreeing with others, leading to tension and hostility. And despite thinking that you have won. You may still end up the loser because you have hurt or annoyed others and have isolated yourself. And you try to pick up the pieces and act as if the conflict is now in the past, but others have now lost faith in you and do not want to be around you. Um, so you'll need to make a decision whether your point of view is so important to you that it's okay for you to put the relationship with others in jeopardy or whether to compromise and try to see eye to eye with others so 
overall you are in for a struggle and there is more work or problems ahead than you are aware of now things will not go as well as wanted and there will be conflicts or clashes with others so this card this five of swords is a card that is representing ambition but in the negative sense like too much ambition without regard to the consequences to yourself or others results ultimately in a situation of loss for everyone. So if your focus is only solely on winning your goals at any cost, you will eventually discover to your own dismay that the price of winning may have not been worth the reward. Arrogance and pride go often hand in hand with a difficult triumph such as this. So this Five of Swords can also be seen as a hollow victory. Now the energy, the outside energy, we have the moon. It is called the past lives in this deck, but it is the moon card. Hidden. Um, hidden. Dangerous. Illusion. Fear, anxiety, insecurity. Oops. Coming from the outside. So, yeah. Insecurity. Um, the moon calls your attention to your shadow. And it's about becoming consciously aware of any tendencies to project fear and anxiety onto your external surroundings so as a result now you're experiencing negative blocks that cause you more fear and more anxiety and to remedy this there needs to be a purging process where things can be released so this kind of show that this is a time to that you need to go deep down into your, your soul and dredge up the anxiety and fears and psychic blocks and personality disturbances some many invisible things are coming to the surface including secret motives clandestine information and hidden truths uh, these newly discovered resources may confuse you, but once they are brought to your awareness, they will no longer haunt you. So, the moon card is a card of illusion and deception. And it suggests a time when something is not as it appears to be. So, vigilance and clear perception will be necessary. Um, it's also about idealizing a situation and ignoring the fact that that potential for failure exists among success. Guard against accepting illusions as they may cause an error in your judgment. Uh, this also shows that you are not sure of your destination or even your path that you are traveling, but you have to travel it nonetheless. And you may have lost your way and you are kind of now left to walk in the dark and you're only to be guided by your own intuition so you need to go on without a clear picture of where you are uh, where you are going or where you have been so not only will the way forward will be revealed, but in many cases you will learn lessons about yourself that will be valuable in the future. Okay, so the, the next card, some more clarification for this situation. We have here a lucidity or awareness. This one is the chariot. Um, hmm. The chariot, this card shows that you'll need to use your strength and willpower to overcome 
any obstacles or challenges that are ahead. It requires you to assert yourself and be bold. Um, it also sometimes this chart asks you to come to terms with your own aggressive impulses. Um, aggression is part of human nature, part of your innate survival mechanism, and it cannot be just simply suppressed. Uh, so, to do so, you will only turn it inward for yourself. So, aggression can be very destructive. Um, so, this is a time when you need to master your emotions and curb the impulses of anger. You, uh, you need to kind of be in control of yourself. And the last card, what needs to be done, the position of what needs to be done to better the situation. We have two of cups. Um, partnership, relationships, union. Balance, mutual respect, and harmony in relations in relations with others. There is no I. There is we. And both parties are focused on a mutually beneficial outcome or a win-win situation. So it needs to better this situation. I think that the people in England will need to revalue. The situation, and I think that a new partnership is needed. Union, partnership, reestablishing relationships with others in order to get out of this situation. So, to me, it feel like, feels like uh, they'll have to. I think they will, will have to go back. I think somehow they will be forced to go back to the partnership with the European Union because it's it's gonna be worse than expected they're gonna face these things will come up to the surface things they were weren't aware of um, or even if they're aware they don't know the how seriously it will affect them And they'll need to get over their own impulses and instincts and anger and um, they'll have to kind of take charge of the situation and set the course to an, a new direction. Um, so yeah, if they want to they're now in the process, they're now trying to, I know they're working diligently to, towards like bettering their situation, but with these energies, it's not, they're not going anywhere unless they choose to improve their relations with others. Because now we live in a time where we cannot isolate ourselves. We depend on others. We cannot afford this mentality of isolation and separation. Um, so I think it's like the, the collective mentality needs is will be challenged. Is being challenged, and they will need to to see that the only way forward is through partnerships union you're not gonna succeed on your own um, yeah so I did a, a reading on Brexit a few days ago twice and it kind of shows it, it showed me like this card this uh, inner collective energy for England really just swords the negative 
cards like nine of swords and um like suffering a lot of suffering and hardship like really bad energies and from the outside i got a lot of actually support supportive energy like i feel like <clears throat> they will realize that it is way worse than expected but i think that uh they will be supported they won't i don't think that the, the others that have been harmed let's say they will not retaliate i think that they will all have to um get over resentments and work towards union work towards you know improving relationships and improving the situation for everyone and i from this reading i i get that like they'll have no choice they'll have to go back to union because the, there won't be this just won't be possible on their own in this because they said the world is, world is changing and we're now opening more open and we have to work together you know these hardcore you know nation nationalists and they're just not beneficial for anyone so yeah see, we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but as i told you i think like it will be really bad they will like wake up and see that it was really a bad bad deal a bad decision and even now they're not aware of how bad it, it will be but I think they will get support from outside and somehow they will be forced to uh, mend relationships and go back to union go back to um, you know working in benefits of everyone working together that's the only way we can thrive so yeah that's the wow 17 minutes okay that was a long reading <clears throat> so yeah this is it for brexit see you guys in my next video bye bye